Hey, my friends, let's look at my top four high value budget firearms for 2017. Uh, I'm sure you're going to have different thoughts than I do, so feel free to share it in the comment section. Uh, let's, my first firearm would be a handgun, and it's going to be the Taurus Millennium G2. And you can probably pick between, of course, the uh, PT 111 and 9mm or the PT 140 and 40 caliber. Either one's great. I just go ahead and spend another $30, though, and get the stainless steel slide. So uh, in my area, uh, the blued slide one is going to be around 200 even, and the stainless is 230 They're both excellent bargains. The next is going to be for 22 caliber uh, rifles. They're semi-automatic. This is the Ruger 10-22. It's kind of been the standard for many decades I go ahead and get this all weather version in the synthetic stock and of course the stainless steel barrel. Uh, the blue version is around $200 even in my area and this model right here, the stainless steel barrel, it's about $230, very high value. Now Smith & Wesson has the M&P Sport 2. Uh, this is an excellent entry level AR-15 for personal protection, for plinking, target practice, and of course, varmint control. Uh, you can typically get these uh, for around $500 in my area. Uh, this is a pretty high value actually. And so you can have a lot of different uses for it, just like the competitor uh, that Ruger has been putting out for years now, uh, the Ruger AR556. This is, I think, in the, uh, the dark earth coloration, which costs a few dollars more than the all black version here. But these can also be had between five and six hundred dollars, depending on if you catch them on sale or not. These are very good as well. Uh, so either the the Ruger AR556 or the Smith and Wesson uh, Sport 2, uh, either one will be a great entry level AR15. And so those are my my four right there. And um, you know I think these represent each category pretty well. So what do you think? Thanks for watching.